This is Mission Control Houston. For those of you just joining our broadcast, you're looking at a live view of the European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle. This is the Eduardo Amaldi. It is just a few meters away from the Russian segment of the International Space Station. It is going to be docking with the Zvezda service module coming up in about 12 minutes. It is currently at uh, one of its final hold points as the ground teams both here in Houston and at the ATB Control Center in Toulouse, France, do a final checkout of his systems and confirm that uh, both the ATB and the ISS are in the proper configuration and all the docking systems are on and operating and ready to support uh, the activities coming up here in just a few short minutes. This vehicle is bringing up almost 14 and a half thousand pounds of supplies to the Expedition 30 crew. They will actually open up the hatches and check out the atmosphere inside the ATV uh, beginning tomorrow. That will take several hours to verify that uh, the air is acceptable inside and that the crew can go uh, on inside. They will actually begin the full-on uh, ingress and uh, begin the unloading process starting on Friday. Two stations keeping up 11 meters. Uh, so 18 meters. As you can see, ATV continuing to close in. It has departed the S-4 hold point. There is uh, one more small hold point coming up in a couple of minutes. You will see it stop one more time for a final checkout. But everything's still on track for today's docking, which is uh, on the clocks for 5.33 p.m. Central Time, 6.33 p.m. Eastern. Okay, the LEDs are nominal. So zero six is the uh, the rate. Okay, copy zero zero six is the rate. Fourteen meters. Zero zero eight. Everything is nominal. Copy. LEDs are nominal. Uh, no, zero zero six is the rate. Copy. The ATV is now within 15 meters of the Zvezda service module and continuing to close in fairly slowly. Of course, these uh, views are very deceptive because both of these vehicles are currently traveling at 17,500 miles an hour, or Mach 25. has reached yet another hold point at about 11 meters away from the Russian segment. Here in Houston, Flight Director Jerry Jason is about to do his final go, no-go of the team here. That should clear the way for ATV's docking coming up in just a few minutes, according to the clocks here in Mission Control, about uh, eight and a half minutes away from now. We are at page uh, 4.12, step 15. Okay, copy.
This is Mission Control Houston Flight Director Jerry Jason, who's sitting there in the center of the console, has just finished his uh, go, no-go of the entire team here in Houston. Everybody is go, so they were reporting that to all the different uh, control centers and international partners. Sitting beside him on the right is uh, Dina Cantella. ETB is currently holding uh, right at 10 to 11 meters away from the International Space Station. We're about five minutes away from the actual docking itself. Station Moscow. On ATV. Go ahead. We are expecting the initiation of beginning of the motion. Okay, copy. Yes, we can see the uh, rate, rate gain. We have executed the command uh, to initiate the movement. Okay, copy. Zero, zero, nine is the rate. The team is reporting, as you can see, that the ATV has departed the final hold point. Everything is nominal. Copy. These final few minutes of closure are extremely slow as these two vehicles uh, basically steer each other down. ATV continues to uh, close in on the Zvezda service module. Docking on the clocks for 5.33 p.m. Central Time. Of course, that could uh, be plus or minus by a few seconds. Seven meters. Okay. Zero, zero, five. Copy. LEDs are nominal. Copy. So the rate is changing from 001 to 010. Six meters. Copy. ATV now at six meters and closing in on the International Space Station, both vehicles high above the Pacific Ocean. We're expecting the report at two meters and one 